Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is E. No, I was trying to do HD StarCraft's intro, but I'm not going to. It's your lucky day. I have a test tomorrow, and I had a I had a quiz today, and so I'm coming off of like all of that quizzy stress and heading into the testy stress. <laughs> testy stress. And <laughs> that was so stupid. I feel like playing a game. So we're going to play Submachine 32 Chambers, created by Math. That's the Czechoslovakian name for Matthew. Skutnik. Winner of casual gameplay design competition number eight with music by Thump Monks. Oh, I love Thump Monks. I don't know who Thump Monks are. Submachine is apparently a um, escape game series. Escape games are those point-and-click games where you have to solve all these weird puzzles that don't really give you any clues. And they're really taxing on your mind. And the we'll get to the, the clicking part in, uh, in this video. So, apparently in one of like the main games, they mentioned that there were these 32 chambers. And uh, it was in... Uh, Submachine 4 mentions there were 32 chambers filled with sand. And so the guy said, okay, well, I'll, sure, I'll make that too. It's the same guy. We're going to start a new game. Ooh, that was a bit loud right off the bat. I'll go ahead and turn that down a bit on my end. And we arrive here. Now this game, it's weird because it's tall. And if you see here, your uh, cursor will change, and that clicks you over and over. I thought when I showed up here that I was going to click the sand, and then suddenly the room moved, so that didn't work very well. Back here is the greeting glyph. Apparently it's a greeting because this is where you start. And here, if you can just barely notice that green thing, is a piece of jadeite, which might come in handy later. This big, ugly, weird thing is what we would call a red herring. Jeez! My speakers, my volume switch on my computer. Uh, you've seen it probably in some of my older videos. When I use my keyboard volume dial to go up or down, the display now is broken so that when you look at the screen, the volume bars don't change. So I never know how loud my computer is till I hear it go. Regardless, this is a red herring. Um, I have tried different things with this. And nothing that I do seems to work. Let's just go with 666, since that seems to be popular. Click the button. Lightning bolt, and it falls apart. And unlike in a lot of adventure games, or escape games, you can't pick any of this up. None of this is clickable. So let's head over here. Here we have the air glyph. Bunch of sand. Can't go over anymore. And this is the box glyph. If you click here, we pick up a... An autumn bacab plate, or bacab. Looks like it has a turtle on it. I like turtles. If you click the air glyph, you open up a secret passage. With another piece of jadeite. Now we have two, and you can head further down. And that almost looked like it should have been something you could pick up, but it's not. Let's head out here. There's a brick we can't do anything with, and we can go left or right. Let's go right first. It's Tolmec! And he's kind of quiet. Nothing to click on in this room. Let's head this way. Piece of jadeite here, hidden in the corner. And a lever. A lever. Lever handle. Or a lever handle. Depends on how you want to pronounce it. Both are acceptable. Now here, this is a very complex looking figure. And you think, when you get up here, that maybe you're clicking on it. But no, you actually move up. And once again, you're faced with a very complex figure. And actually, here's a person. And I don't quite grasp what they're doing, given the uh, the fact you can't really see the whole thing at once. But if you go over this, eventually you'll find this, which is the winter Bacab plate. And nothing else to click on. Well, now I have some plates, but I have this lever handle, so let's stick that in there. This is a weird-looking handle. It's like, the, it's like a push broom with all the bristles removed. Click that. And you might have just heard the sand. And that would be where everything was falling. Let's head down again. Pick up a wooden stick. You can always use a wooden stick. A wooden bowl. This does nothing, but it makes a really cool sound. 
I love it. So nothing else we can click on here. What's over here? Air, wind, and fire dig through the sand. Earth, wind, and fire sing lots of songs. X tab. This guy. It's actually probably a woman. I thought I used to think that this was like a hand, but actually now it looks like breasts, and this is just an armless figurine. What do we have here? Wind, fire, sand, air, and blank. Well, that riddle said air, and then head over here, pick up a piece of jadeite. Wind, nothing else to click on. And here, fire. Once again, we hear some sand falling somewhere. We got another box glyph. It's very helpful that they label all four sides of this box with that glyph, because otherwise, I wouldn't have known. And we get a round stone. Well, wow. oh, hey, look, we can go down here. First, here's this. Let's see if we can weigh it down with the stone. We cannot. No, no go. Another piece of jadeite. Here's a weird looking little thing. Let's see if we can stick the stick in there. We can. And we get a piece of topaz. Head down again. And this is pretty awesome. I love these little things. Look at them. Look at how smooth they go. I just, they look so different from the rest of the game that it kind of stands out. But luckily they're blocking your progress to the left. Head over here. There's another piece of jade. More obvious than the last. Very involved little glyph here, but nothing we can touch. Although this looks like a dude with a uh, with a goatee. Here's a rope, but we can't click on it. So let's head right again. Some dude chilling. Water glyph. Refutation, denial, rejection. Drink glyph. So this guy does not drink water. Okay. Another one of these cool little spear walls. I love them. And here, this we can't click on, but around him, this wheel, if we click that, he spills sand. Now, I'm going to admit, this is the first and only time I had to look at a walkthrough for this game. It so often happens in these games where you know what you have to do, but you're not quite clicking it exactly as the person says you have to click it, and so it doesn't work. So I knew this guy doesn't drink water, and this thing pours out sand. So I tried, let's do this again, hitting the button and then catching it in the bowl. That doesn't work. I tried clicking the bowl on the mouth. That doesn't work. But it does go down here. Now, I'll show you just in a sec here. That bowl barely fits. Who would think that you could put the bowl right in between these two bars? Because as you see, when you hold it up, look at it's just, it looks like in some places it falls right through the bars, and in other places it's just barely fitting. So that didn't seem right. So I had to look up the walkthrough, and look, we even lose the bowl down there. And I had to look at the walkthrough to see what I needed to do, because I had a bowl, I had this sand pouring out, and for what, you know, nothing that I tried worked. And then I found out you had to put the bowl on the floor to catch the sand. That lowers this rope, and we'll head upstairs. And here, once again, we have some very involved glyphs, but it's all the way up here. You might even miss it because of that. We get the spring backup plate. You can't head left, even though there's a rope here, you'd think you could climb across it. Head to the right, what do we have here? Mole glyph, with some arrows pointing down, and if you go down, you can click here, and grab another piece of topaz. The door's clickable, but if you click it, nothing actually happens. Well, it's to the right. Another spear wall of awesome. And these little turny wheels. This one turns by itself, but this one, every time you click it, turns that one, too. Huh. That didn't open the door. I'll spare you. I tried every combination. None of them opened the door. It's very rare in one of these games where you have to click and drag in order to do this. So you have to click and drag to get it open. And here, we see you can click left but not right because there's this big thing in the way. If you click left, you come back out. However, you'll notice the shape of it kind of like this. And look at what position this is in. So, you have to put that like that. Then you go in, you go to... Oh, wait, let's go back here. You can see this. A stone cone. It's what you use when you have cold stone creamery ice cream. 
head to the right, and you see we're blocked off here. So this must be that other wheel we were dealing with. So let's get that in position, then get that in position. You see we've got a clear space now to get across. And there's a ladder. Down here we find a weight stone, but otherwise we are blocked. Well, we already know, have an idea where we might use that weight stone, because we wanted to weigh this down earlier. So put the weight stone there, and we hear a click. Let's head back. And now the sand is gone, so we can continue down. Now here's another turny wheel, so let's turn the wheel to see what's on the other side of it. And you can see there's a switch. I'll show you this first. Come here, and you see this is gated off, but it has that little box pattern above it. Head up, click that, and now that's gone. We'll head in there in a moment. Head to the left, pick up a round stone, look at this guy. He's very complex, very intricate, but actually no nothing clickable on him. Head to the right, pick up a piece of jadeite, and we have another very complex statue, but nothing clickable here either. All right, we can head inside. There's something up here, but there's nothing here, so let's go to the right. That says Chalk Chell. Oh, well, that's interesting. Here's a clickable bit. The Summer Baka Plate. Nothing else here. This is a Tooth Glyph, and when you click that, you get another piece of Jadeite. Let's head to the right. Box Glyph. Topaz. Uh, Ak Puck. No, A Puck. That doesn't work, or a pooch. And nothing to click here. This is pretty weird, though, so let's put the stone cone right there. I don't even know how you would get that to work that way, but it makes these stairs. And you can head up, and you have all these jadeites. So let's put the... Nothing here is clickable right now at all. Let's put the jadeites in. Put them into these eight slots around the outside. And now we can turn this. If you see this pattern here with the two triangles, and then you turn the uh, outer ring to match that up with this one right here, you can see how this has a box around it. And when you put it there, it clicks into place. Now we can turn this middle bit, and here we just want to make sure that we line these up on the proper uh, spots. Let's see. No. No, 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 no. There we go. Now that's clicked in. We have some plates, so let's put the autumn plate in. Oh, it only goes into one spot. You can click all you want, it'll only fit into one place. You probably could have put another, uh, another little puzzle there to make someone figure out how to do it. That clicks into place. Now we need jadeite. There's four holes, but we only have three pieces. So let's head back out and see if we can do anything with these rocks. Oh, go back down. Turn that. Up, over, over. Get out of there. So you head all the way back, and I had actually figured this out oh, too far. Go this way. Uh, earlier, when you first get this round stone. I tried fitting one into this guy's eye socket and it worked. So when we found the second round stone, his mouth falls open and we steal his topaz. I always keep my topaz in my mouth too. If you hide it under the tongue, nobody ever finds it and you get to keep it all to yourself. Downstairs, back up in here. And now you can put the topaz in. If you try this without having the, the last piece of topaz, or no, before you put the ring in place, if you don't turn this ring into place first and you select the topaz, there's no way to really unselect the topaz. And uh, you have to like quit the game and go back in. But it does have a continue function, so that's actually pretty cool. You can start right off where you left. Now we go ahead and hit the center button. Oh, we got to turn the center button into place. There we go. Lightning! Made with lightning! Real lightning! And we get all kinds of weirdness. 21-12-2012, which would be December 21st. December 21st, 7137. Interesting. Well, until next time, bye-bye.